Hi, this is Kabir Sadanand, and you're watching Say It with Kabira. There are some difficult issues, there are difficult topics that we talk about, but we really never get into a discussion about it because we feel we can't make a change. Well, you can make a change with the slightest, slightest of movement in terms of a discussion with friends, with someone you care for, for a complete stranger. Because when you shut the light on such important issues, you're shutting the light for a brighter future. So what do we do with Say It With Kabira? And what do you do if you have something to talk about, something that you feel very strongly about? You can write to us, send us a video. If you want to show us your face, it's absolutely fine. Just turn your back to the camera and say what you want to say. And probably that can become a discussion which can make a change. And why do we have a show like Say It With Kabira where we don't talk about numbers, we don't talk about things which are, are, are statistics and stuff? It's because we talk about issues that really matter matter to people who you care for and who you want to help. But most importantly, help starts with yourself. Today I have with me a friend. She's an actress and most importantly, she's a person who brings out like every possible thought that you have in your head because you can say it in front of her and not be judged. Tanushree has got a lot of films to her credit, a lot of crucifixion which we'll talk about later, talk about being bold. Uh, are you bold? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> but let me just start with, you know, where this whole conversation of this idea of having a say it with Kabira and talking to her about it is. I met Tanushri the other day and I am pretty critical about myself here because I felt very bad about what I did. I talk about a hypocritical society and I was being a hypocrite. And in India, I think it's a big major problem, Tanushri. All of us are here, stand as judges, make a comment, strong comment as, Tum kale nahi ho ge ho? <laughs> uh, I was like, uh, no. To that I would like to say. Is I first of all, I want to say I'm sorry. No, you already said that. Because when you told me, let's get you back in shape, my response was, why? <laughs> like, you know, there's another thing in India. We have, like the West, now the West is moving out of it. Because now in the West, we have plus size models who are beautiful. They are, you know, entrepreneurs and they're doing really well so the shift is happening but in India we are now becoming like how the West was in the 50s and 60s idolizing skinny people idolizing people who are probably anorexic and bulimic in real life idolizing people who are probably very unhealthy so there is an idea of what is shape you know and that is something that bothers me because nobody gets to decide what shape is. So what good shape for somebody else might be, might be different for me. And if I'm happy with my shape, then, well, I see no reason to change it. And if it changes, I'll be still happy with it, you know. See, I went back with that conversation with a positive and that was that I realized one thing is that and that one conversation, it really affected me in a, in a big way. For a couple of days after that also, I kept asking myself is that, you know, are you judgmental? And that's the question I want to ask her. Now, when you came into the industry, I remember your first film. Uh, you didn't write the film, did you? No. <laughs> no. You didn't direct the film? No, I didn't. You didn't I do the music? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even style myself. But you were judged for it. Yeah. You want to yes. talk about that? Yes, I, I feel like after my first movie came out, there were two segments. Humanity for me was divided into two segments. One that loved me, and the other that judged me, you know. The ones who loved me were my fans, my well-wishers, who till date, I can do no wrong for them. I mean, all my sins are forgiven for them because they love me. And then this other segment that judged me, that no matter what I do, I will be judged. I'm not good enough for them, you know. They slut-shamed me. The reason I s divide this into two segments is because this was not a universal reaction. This clearly our country is evolving and it's, it's now getting divided into people who are either positive, you know, they see things as they are and then there are people who are extremely judgmental and it's so shocking to see that 14 years hence, I'm still getting judgment from those people because I guess, I guess that's who they are, you know. They have made a mindset of what holy is, of what pavitra is, you know. And I guess my film, my clothes, my scenes do not fall into their 
डेफिनेशन ऑफ होली एंड पवित्र ऑन द फेस ऑफ इट ऑन द फेस ऑफ इट बिहाइंड वो क्लोज डोर वॉट दे हैव टू हु नोज दे गो एंड वॉच सेक्सी तनुश्री बोल्ड तनुश्री तनुश्री इन बेकिनी and uh, that's behind closed doors i understood the meaning of the word judgment first of all i understood there's a word called judgment what it means and how it affects you and i was a victim of judgment the way judgment feels is it's almost like a million pins poking every inch of your being simultaneously like imagine pins are being poked into you and you're covered with pins so that one pin doesn't have so much strength on its own but when it comes all together millions of them it hurts as much as people might say uh, and judge people in this uh, in this country as we have they forgetting one fact there's something called entertainment there's something called fiction exactly yeah let me something uh, once you realize the meaning of being judged you came back as a different person completely you came back much more sorted more sorted what is it that went through your mind you know obviously anyone who suddenly glamour industry miss india uh, the works uh, uh, on the front pages i still remember there uh, uh, everyone was writing about you at that point of time and then suddenly sorry because of that there was this um, honoke please controversy had also happened where again the premise was why is she complaining you know there were words being thrown like saw chuhe kha ke billi haj ko chali because i complained about misbehavior from an actor billi ne kitne chuhe khaye tum deh gaya wahan pe dekhne ke liye <laughs> like how the hell do you know but after all this that happened somewhere did you regret the fact of the decision to be a part of this industry many many times in fact i remember there was a time when i was in the us you know looking for a job i applied to a couple of places one place you know they responded back to me and my fear was that what if they google me and they're going to read all these nasty articles about me you know because there was a lot of nasty stuff that uh, which people don't think it's nasty but when you when you you know what i'm saying i'm i'm saying the vibe the written word has vibes and sometimes because you because the people judge me they write about me also with a certain sense of indignation you know and so i was like oh my god i'm going to go and apply for a job they're going to call me for an interview and what if they google me and they write they read such indignant articles you know so i didn't apply for that job so <coughs> it would be wise just to say this that you know every time you're saying something to someone and you're judging them it could have a long term effect which could affect them forever we'll come back in the next episode but before we go and leave from here there's one thing i want to ask you sexy tanushree avtar that they gave you uh did it at any point of time make you feel as an actress and we'll come back with this on the next episode did it as an actress feel short changed short changed we'll come back and keep watching say it with kabira send us your videos and you can write into us at kabira@lehre.com catch us again that guy who's raped or gang raped it didn't start with that action it started with his mind It started with a certain judgment where he may have thought कि जो लड़कियाँ रात को घूमती है बाहर वो कैरेक्टरलेस है